opens up, uh, opens up her jacket, revealing this supposed new me. Oh, oh, damn. Okay. What do you think, Marco? You like it? You're showing a bit too much, not? You're showing a bit too much. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a new video. Yep. This is Doki Doki Turbo Trouble Part 2. Um, sorry about the part 1 I did because um, my audio was very low and the music of the game was very high so you guys couldn't hear me that much but this time I turned, <laughs> uh, turned down the music of the game so you guys can hear me I hope it's doing well I hope, I hope for you guys so yeah anyway um, also don't ask me why I did the SMR, right? Don't ask me why. Anyway, uh, let's continue. The clacks of the glass were still my focus as I tried my hardest to be a careful with the overly delicate lab equipment. It's my first day as my chemistry teacher assistant, so it's in my best interest to not screw up. It's mostly manual work, but if it helps, pop up my res resume, I'll take it. He gasps a chaos through the quiet classroom, somehow making its way to my end of the room. By the way guys, if we hear something in the background, sorry, it's my parents, because they are ready to go to sleep, and I'm just here to record, <laughs> because I need to, because I love re recording stuff. Anyway, before I can figure out the source, a pink bl blur charts towards me at the full force. Get out, you freaking mosquito. There's a mosquito in my freaking desktop right now. Get out. I immediately move away from the glassware. I put my hands out in an attempt to stop the raging bull. Thankfully, he comes to a steady stop, reducing any risk of unwanted bicycle damage. Although it seems mental and emotional damage are still on the table. What are you doing here, you idiot? This is not a champ, not an advanced champ. I'm actually interning for Mr. White during my study hall. Are you in this class? Dude, yes. This class is about to be so much more fun. I don't know about that. <laughs> now, lips at me, her grip like a vice. I smile awkwardly, hoping not too much attendance draw to me. However, I notice something off in the distance. I feel the pain. <laughs> He looks, he looks like Goku. And uh, no, no, I mean, he looks like fake Goku that tries to be a real Goku. Just look at him. I'm pretty sure he's at home, trying to practice the Goku's scream. <laughs> oh my God! Anyway, I feel the stab of st stringent eyes staring dangers at me coming from a boy with unruly hair. I think dangers or dangers, Dang uh, dangers. I don't know. Not class is gonna start. Come over here. A button over the bar. <laughs> okay. Don't be such a buzzkill, Carl. I in a buzzkill. I'm like super hype. Yeah, you're super insane, like Goku, but now will Goku, fake Goku. Natsuki lets go of me, and when the shrug of her shoulders, she makes her way to her desk which is right next to this Carl guy. I awkwardly try my best to wave at him, but he seems only pressed. Alright class, we're about to start, so take your seat. Marco, I need you to sort out the bottles in this talk room. Already on it, sir. Already on it, sir. What a true tool, right, Nat? <sighs> He's bullying me now. He's bullying me now? I'm going to murder him, you'll see. The spiky hair bread lets out a hyena like cackle. Attractive the area of me and Mr. White. A lot of words are probably spelled wrong. That doesn't seem all that amused. Her only contribution to the ex exchange being a cocked eyebrow. Return uh, I return to my assigned work. Whatever that was, it isn't really worth my time. After what feels like an eternity, I think it's. Uh, Rearranging the contest of the stock room, yet something still feels wrong. 
Mr. White will figure it out on his own time since the class is wrapping up anyhow. Hey dummy, come over here. Rocking over to her while stretching my locked up muscles, I start up one of our many banterian exchanges. Dude, you can just call me by my name. Whatever you say, senpai. That's still not my name, and I'm pretty sure I hate being called senpai. Oh god, imagine the random girl just comes to you saying senpai. I mean, if it was Monica, that would be good. Sounds like a whole lot of none of my problem. I tried to find the perfect re uh, retort, but nothing comes out. Nothing giggles missively while I sigh in defeat. Gotcha. Why do you want that? Well, Mr. Jazz, I want you to try these. She opens her bag and pulls out a container with five yellow cake-like squares with a large pile of confectioner and sugar on top. What are those? These are lemon squirrels. It was a new recipe I wanted to try out. Tell me what you think. Silly nut. Lemons aren't squirrels. Silly nut. Just eat the desert squirrels. What is wrong with me? Just eat the damned cakes, you idiot. Ever since you made those cupcakes for my first day at the club, I've been a firm believer in in the fact that Natsuki is a world-class chef baker. If there's a difference, which I'm confident there isn't, I take a lemon square, square, square out of the container, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Square, square, square. I forgot how to pronounce that. Why did I pronounce that as a square? Oh my god. Natsuki stares at me intendedly, making it very clear as he's waiting for my reaction. I take a bite out of the corner of the lemon square. Square, Marco, not squirrel. <laughs> what? The texture is like biting into a soft, fluffy pillow. Every bite is bursting with a sweet and sensuously sensation. Tickling the inside of my mouth, it's almost like I could feel the lemons and sugar dancing on my tongue. The confectioner sugar powdered on top ties everything together nicely. These taste incredible, that. Was there any doubt? Not cigarettes on the below laugh like a crow conqueror. Wait, how do you pronounce that? Con conqueror? Take it back her head. I hope I pronounced that right. However, when she notices the wine, Jenny smile of giving her, her holly laugh slowly transforms into a cute sea giggle. But thanks, Marco. Now that's the past your lowly taste, taste test. These cakes can move up the better mouths. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Nope. Oh, what? So, I sighed deeply. May I, have, may I have another one? Since I am this a gen- You! Oh, what? Well, oh, 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 oh no, 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 not the fake Goku, not the fake Goku! Suddenly, that call guy burst out of his chair and zigzags his way to us to the maze of death. One of the- one of those who was supposed to be for me? Um... Right, I did promise you one. I had my disappointment as I see Carlos net lemon squ square out of the container. Good, Marco. Ned, who is this guy? He's name scroll, and I'm the coolest guy you'll ever met. Feel free to feel insecure. I don't trust you. You sound like a fanboy. Where that I've never heard of you. Maybe next time you should listen to when she meets me, since I'm her best friend. You're not anyone's best friend, Carl. No need to be the soon that. Don't call me that. You know you like it. It was nice meeting you, Carl. Of course. It is a me. My mind starts to wonder how adorable his face is. We're kind of in the middle of something right now, Carl. So... Uh-huh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Well then, catch you later, Ned. Sh sure. <laughs> and get a better haircut, you loser. Carl bites into the square and ex 
exits the classroom, making sure to flash Natsuki and grin on his way out. I started. Maybe do the bear. I can speak. I start trailing my dreads, wondering if there's something wrong with them. Don't listen to him. He's a bit of a douche. And he's your friend? Is that a problem? Kind of. I know Carl's a little crap, but he's still a good guy. I take your word for it. She shrugs off my judgmental glare and takes out a lemon square from her container. And last ones are for me. Didn't you make some for Kazuya? Of course I did, dummy. He's the first one who got a taste of this cake. You didn't think I would want to give my boyfriend any, did you? I suppose you're right. Did you save some for the girls? Nah, they already had their fill of my baking. Plus, I didn't have that many ingredients anyway. Right, right. I pick up my far too heavy bag and get ready to leave the class. Suddenly, I'm hit with the light purse to the face, turning me for a moment. Staring car carried for me. Who does she think she is making me carry her stuff? Well, I mean, it's not too heavy, so... Fling flinging the purse over, m over my other shoulder, Nan makes her way to my side as we push out to the crowded hallway. So, Marco, I was thinking. I, tr I tried to find my way around the students, rush to their classes, making sure not to hit any of them on my way to my own class. Yeah. What do you think about doing some baking of the club? You can get some lemon s squares out of it. Natsuki is rushing through, forcing the people around her to make way. Like last year? Yeah, like last year. You did promise me an another go at it. Did I? I come to a sudden stop, impeding the flow of student traffic in the hallway. A group of guys popping to me and Natsuki pushing us off our balance. Sorry, sorry. Hey, watch where you're going, pricks. What are you, blind? The guys stare at each other, blink, uh, blinky and secure off, trying to avoid not swerve. Man, what a bunch of idiots. Relax now, nah, there's this bomb thing to us. It's the resp disrespectful. I shrug the exchange of and continue moving through the hallway. Anyway, about the baking thing. Right. Are you up for it? I did promise her in any case, baking with Nat was pretty fun last time. I don't mind I'm doing it again. Why not? Your house or mine? Your house, duh. Same reason as the last time? That will kill me, yes. And he's okay with you going over to a guy's house? What he doesn't know won't hurt him. What a re rebel, alright. We can head to my place after the club, sounds good. Do you even have everything we need for baking? I smile at her, yet my eyes remain wide open. Now let's out a laughing sigh, taking notice that there's nothing behind them. I'll talk by the stone and get the stuff we need. For this smart guy, you don't think a lot, do you? I'm s smart? I don't think I'm smart. I remember I told my teacher one plus one was five. My teacher said I need to go to the therapy. Damn, I didn't mean for that to come out. <laughs> Wait, perfect timing. Perfect timing. <laughs> well, it did. Watch out, Nat. You're getting soft on me. Count your blessings, Marco. With a wing and seductive lift of her shoulder, she waves a goodbye as she continues to push into the crowd of people walking to class. Seriously, bro, make way, dumb crap. She's spicy, alright. I open the door to my classroom, ready to chew my heavy bag filled with school burdens out. Stretching my neck from a long day of sitting idle at school, I try to prepare myself for Nat's eventual arrival. Sluggishly, I walk into my home only to be met with the normal wild ruckus of chasing noises coming from the kitchen. Ma'am? 
my mom picks a head through the open kit kitchen doorway and with one glimpse of me her entire face lights up <laughs> should i make should i make a, a mom voice with this one pretty sure everyone will be cringing so hard <laughs> but whatever boy come here come on here that's the terrible mom's voice. I walk over to the kitchen to see the average mess of boiling water, cut up tomatoes, onions, celery, and the loud whirring noise of the blender being put through its paces. Hey mom, uh, what are you doing? I'm trying to make lunch for you before I head off to work. Now pick up a knife and help cut some of these peppers up. Mom, did you get my text? I see her. Oh, this bad. I see her. <laughs> I look a freaking. Ad I, I can't say the word. Bad word. <laughs> because of YouTube friendly friendly. <laughs> anyway, I just forgot what I was about to say. <laughs> I see a, a center's old phone over in the corner of my eye, covered in flour and melting frozen peas. Picking it up, I point to its home screen, which is filled with text from me. She grabs the phone from my hand and quizzically looks at it. I have the pair of reading glasses she uses, which then she finally reads the text I had sent hours ago. Ow. So you're inviting your lady friend over? The one that is in Sayori? Yeah, and we're gonna use the kitchen to bake. She's out getting the stuff for that right now. That's right. So I have to clean all this up. Okay, let me just get... I hold my hand out, stopping her frantic reach for the washed clothes. I'll clean it up, mom. You've gotta get ready for work. She sighs and will leave and grabs a hold of my cheeks. Pulling me in, she begins assaulting my six with a multitude of rapid fire kisses. Mom, hey, that tickles. I love you so much, my little Ouija. Ouija. <laughs> you know that. I know, I know, I love you too. I look at the messy countertops and the spills of miscellaneous ingredients and prepare myself mentally. She'll be here any minute now, so I better be quick. I don't want her to deal with my messes. Ah, oh, I guess that's her. Coming. Be right there. No, please. Take your time. I'm only holding all of the baking supplies. Should I make a, a voice for Natsuki? A different voice. Today I don't feel like it. Only the mom, though. The mom, I can do it, but... Natsuki, I don't know, I don't feel like to do the Natsuki for some reason. Maybe in the next episode I'll do it. Just comment down below if you want me to, you know, make a voice for Natsuki. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway. Hanging the washcloths on the edge of the sink, I make my way over to the door. Quickly dusting myself off and st straightening my hair, I open the door. Hey, Nat. Natsuki is barely balancing herself straight when each of her arms being watered down by bags carrying her precise baking needs. Yeah, yeah, it's your personal pack mule. Now move aside, dummy. These things are heavy. Well, I was gonna offer to help, but it looks like you've got this. <laughs> Some gentleman you are. Nan pulls her as she stomps her way inside with her muddy boots. I'm a gentleman to ladies. Ladies who don't call me dummy. <laughs> Whatever dummy. After making sure the door is closed, I stir up to Nat and take some of the bags out of her hands. Alright, these bags can go here. Nat hurriedly sets the grocery bags on top of the kitchen table, feeling a burden literally being lifted off her. I tap her on the shoulder, pointing at her boots, which have massacred kitchen flooring. 
she takes them off and throws them aside. Now that we're done with that, I finally get a good look at what Nat is wearing. So uh, I see you've changed clothes. Yeah, of course, trying to bake in that stuffy school on your phone would be a nightmare. I was talking more about your general fusion sense. It's a very different from what I've seen you wear in the past. New Year, new me, baby. I wanted something that felt more liberating. That opens her, uh, opens up her jacket, revealing this su supposed new me. Oh, oh, damn. Okay. What do you think, Marco? You like it? You're showing a bit too much, Nat. You're showing a bit too much. My eyes can't help but stare her down from head to toe. I'm immediately taking a, a peg by how short her sh shorts are. Jeez, I didn't know Nat's legs were so smooth and sharply. I can't help but feel jealous of her top, especially of how tightly it's hugging her. Man, wait, 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 what were you about to say? Wait, wait, wait. Feeling the blood in my body rush somewhere I desperately don't want to, I cough loudly to clear my head. <coughs> Your outfit looks very nice on you, Nat. That smug smirk only shows a fraction of how much she's revealing in my discomfort. I feel like there's more you want to say. Nothing decent. Come on, spit it out, senpai. What's a senpai? Oh crap. Is this something we're baking, mom? That quickly crossed herself up with the jacket again after hearing my mom's voice. Oh wait, that was mom? Oh, I forgot to do the other voice. Thank you, mom. Ex machinal. I see mom around the corner carrying her handbag on her shoulder. Sure, the worst. Where's the bed, man? Share. Share the receipt when you can, then that's cheeky, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, mom. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. You can just call me that, though. Well, Nat, isn't it a little cold out to be wearing that kind of outfit? I see mom move her pointed index finger up and down at the opening of that jacket. Space windows, shorts. Oh wait, it's mom speaking, especially when those shorts being on the button. Well ma'am, you know how it is, I've been putting on a weight as of late. And you didn't think to put on a different pair? That looks down slightly in embarrassment before speaking. These are my only pair. Ah, I see. That's why I'm wearing the jacket, it, it certainly helps. The painful awkwardness of that smile does not dissuade my mother's questioning attitude. In kind, I see mom give her usual polite, that's nice, dear, smile in return. If you say so, dear, at least it's warm enough in the kitchen. In any case, Marco, I'm gonna be on my way now. Your father won't be home for a few more hours, so it will just be you two. I hope there won't be any funny business going on. Don't worry, mom. She's has a boyfriend. I'm only teasing, kiddo. Now, come and hug me and get by. I walk over and receive a love so warm, genuine that only a maternal figure can provide. I love you, sweetie. I love you too, mom. And boy, mom leads into my ear as if do you whisper something? I thought you said she was cutie. She is. You're sure you don't mean fluzzy? Stop being so judgmental. I'm not. We're talking about this later. Mom. Well, I'm off you too. Take care. Bye, Mom. Bye, Marcus, Mom. Mom makes her way over to the front entrance, a quick open and closing click of the door signals her dip, depreter, departer, I don't know how to freaking read. Are you two always like this? Yes, I love my mother, what of it? Nothing, it's just cute. You're just cute. Say that to my face, punk. 
with my mom out of the house we begin spreading it spreading everything out 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 over the counter all right we have to stop making the pattern of the lemon squares think you can handle cracking some eggs for me and juice juicing the lemons you know i've actually got a pretty good at cooking recently my mom has been teaching me a few things as i prepare for college oh mr college man baking is not cooking i don't believe that then get to cracking those eggs since you're so good turning my back to natsuki i begin to crack eight eggs into a bowl and sadly three outside of it my technique has obviously improved as i expected to win the amount of breakfast First, my mom's been forcing me to cook, but it seems I still have a lot to learn. Afterwards, I st start cutting open the lemons into halves. Halves? Hel hey, hey, can't speak today. Are they even halves anymore? They're more like two thirds in one third, and. Oh, never mind, don't show weakness, Marco. She can smell me. I sneak glance out of her over my shoulder, she looks. She works with the same deafness and presses that I saw on that Sunday a year ago. Every movement she makes it quick and calculated. I'd say it's a contrast to how she usually acts, but I'm not sure that's the case. Or maybe she's stumbling through everything and this somehow works out for her. Yo, Marco, did you get the eggs and lemon choice ready? Uh, I got the lemon juice ready, almost done beating the eggs. Hurry up, dummy, we have to go all day. Be creative, now. there are other insults besides dummy. Okay, idiot, we have to go all day. I shoved the cup of lemon juice into her head, absolutely fed up with her antics. I proceeded to beat any signs of life out of the bowl of eggs as fast as humanly possible to make up for the lost time. Had I beaten them any faster, I would have been ar arrested for domestic abuse. I'm gonna get the confectioner's sugar out of the fridge and preheat the oven. Oven, start mixing everything together. You got it, balls? I go ahead and mix the contents of the bowl. If only my arms weren't br burning from earlier. After a while, Nasir comes over to see the most I've brought to life. What are you doing? Nat flings her jacket off and to sit near the table. She... She then snaps the ball out of my hand before I even realize what's going on. I'm not looking at the... the thing, okay? You're not doing it right. You... We got to beat the crap out of it. As he proceeds to beat the crap out of the batter in the bowl like it offended her long line of pink hair accents thirst. I didn't know she had that much strength in her. Oh now, when did you learn how to beat the crap out of something like that? You know. You live and you pick it up a few things. Okay. <laughs> she goes back to beating the batter out of my mind is winning down by that innocuous comment. Slowly, I start to realize something about her arms. The way they move up and down in the odd pattern like they're s slowed down by some invisible force. The, I, sh I don't know, I should sure actually like censor that. I don't know how YouTube can be so strict. Jesus Christ. Ow. How her face turns as she continues to go at the better. Finally, I see it. A bunch of pale, discolored blotches line in her arm. It turns like a tattoo sleeve, an almost permanent mark on her skin. Not your arms. Why are you talking about... Oh, oh, oh. Jesus realized. Oh god, oh god, oh god, you're, you're ducked, you're ducked. Don't hear me say this, not quickly, softs the ball in her arms back on the counter and steps away from me. She tries to cover her, herself up as best she can with the little she has. You didn't see that. Not. I did see that. Marco? Not what? 
What's going on with you? Averted eyes and silent are her only response. <sighs> Did you get into a fight or something? Not. I heard on her on Burr's shoulder with the utmost care. Is this some Burr's dude? Don't make a big deal of it. Where'd you get the bruises? Bruh, I don't even know if I'm spelling that right. Bruises. If there's something wrong, you can tell me. I'm your friend. You are? Of course. Slowly, she brings down her arms, confirming what I already saw. Her gaze goes blank. I can see her in her own eyes. What happened? I tripped and fell. Natsuki, it's it's embarrassing, okay? The soft vulnerability in her voice weak, weak, eh, weakens me to my knees, leaving me in utter aware of the sheer full. Oh my god, so many words I never read before. Fertility of the situation. How bad is it if I even see means seems weak in the face of it all? I'm not gonna judge you. I know. Tell me. Marco, tell me please. My dad's a bit tough, I guess. Does he beat you? He doesn't beat me, he's just sometimes. I make him mad and you can fill in the blanks. Not. I close my eyes for a moment as I try to process what she said. Why? Why did you never tell me? This isn't something you go around telling people, idiot. Hi, my name's Natsuki. Funny story. I get beat by my dad. That's a pretty good icebreaker. <laughs> really, man? Sorry, I just don't know what to say. <laughs> then I guess it's not that good of an icebreaker. This, the silence falls over the room while remaining completely unsure of how to act. Let's just go back to baking, okay? No, we can't. Nut, what do you want from me? We've got to do something about this. Call Child Protective Services or something. I'm 18, I'm not a kid. Then charge him with domestic abuse, I don't know. Marco, do you like to live with me or something? Marco, you can camp out Marco. It's not that simple. What do you mean? He's my dad, okay? And it's I. He's my dad. So my dad doesn't beat me. I really don't care about your dad. So why do you care about mine? Because I care about you. <laughs> oh my god, this argument. Suddenly her cold, harsh glare fills with a warm, soft glow. Instead of replying with an answer, I walk up to Nat and give her a tender embrace. I care about you, Natsuki. Okay, it's. Do you need any help? No. Are you sure? Yes. Nat. I care about you. I know. A lot. Feel her muscles be become a little less tense and she sinks deeper into my arms. Are right, you sure? The earnest tone of her voice brings out feelings in me I didn't even know I had. Yes. She sinks even deeper into me as I feel her hair on my chest and her arms around my back. Are we getting too close? My grip on her loosens, but it seems that she has no problem staying it, but, but no, I don't think we are. We continue to stare into each other, leaning closer and closer. The distance between us closes as the cold air turns warm. Not or uh, what are we doing? <laughs> I care about you too. Her tender, rosy eyes beckon me to come even closer. I'm glad. Her soft lips glisten, calling me to action, and I hear them loud and clear. Heading their call, I lit in, I lit in and kiss her. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, she kissed her. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what is it with me? Testing faint hands of the strawberry and saga as I do. She returns the kiss swiftly into intertwining our tongues as she does. It's a bit of a struggle to keep up with her fervent 
I'm not going to read that because they are talking about how they are kissing. I don't know, you two likes that. My back slowly compressed as I feel her nails dig into me. Something feels off. This doesn't feel anything like I thought it would. Pulling away to catch my breath, I look at her flushed face. What's wrong, Marco? Still thinking about you or not? That's a grip on me, loosens as I feel her small hands glide to my face. Her gentle st stroke of my cheeks brings me a sense of sol solace. Hey, I'm a big girl, Marco. You don't have to worry about me. The softness of her voice could put me to sleep with how serene it is. It's, just, it's a big deal, lad. And I'll do with it when I'm good and ready. I'm here for you, okay? Thank you. But for now, she sneaks her legs around mine, slitting up my body. Just relax, enjoy the ride, Marco. Wait, what about the... She pressed me into another deep kiss, not content to let her take charge. I swing us around on my heel to the countertop. The confectioner sugar spills all over, scurrying us in sweet and hard to clean white powder. Good job. Yeah, smooth operator. Seeing that sugar is already a little neck covered in powdered sugar gives me a rather interesting idea. How's this for a smooth, smooch, smooth, smooch? I like Nazis. Uh huh. Uh huh. I don't know. I'll just like them. Okay, I probably shouldn't be reading this out loud. I'm just reading in my head. Don't worry about it. Natsuki leans in to towards me to stay her shaky legs, using me to get a grip. Hey, Marco, why don't we take this upstairs? What about the lemon squares? <laughs> we have an hour, plenty of time. Wanting to get this show on the road, I don't even bother responding. Natsuki pounces on me to go in for another kiss, making me lose my balance. I feel my myself slip on one of the eggs I felt to crack into the bowl and we both fall on unceremoniously <laughs> to the hardwood kitchen floor. Dang! I fall into my bag while f <laughs> f feeling the full weight of Natsuki slam on the top of me. Her head plants into my chest, causing a spike of searing pain. Ow! Ugh, what even happened? I think we slip on an egg or something. I, did I teach you how to crack an egg into a fucking... <gasps> no, I said a bad word. Marco, no, your mission is failed. I'm not funny. When I'm talking like this, I'm not funny, I'm cringe. I know how to crack an egg. I just screwed up, okay? Talking hell. Maybe I should go find a better baking teacher. Maybe they'll teach me a better way around some eggs. My attempt at, at finding said this seems to have an effect on us stealing gauge. You're just an idiot, Marco. Natsuki strikes my chest, forcing my body to jolt awake. In voluntary, my hands squeeze tightly thanks to some pre programmed defense. Mesh mechanism. We both freeze as we discover where exactly my hands ended up after the fall. I feel my hands dig into a soft, almost pillow like from under her shoulders that I can only assume is. Is her funny? <laughs> Even when her being so far away, I could feel the warmth from that sigil's intense blush. Begin to blush a little myself, but I don't move my hands from where they are. Instead, I point to squeeze it in a second time, hoping maybe the second time will spark something even more. Oh God! Lily closes her eyes and bites her lower lip, trying to still for a moon. Um. Uh. Ah. Uh, you having fun there, chump? I'd say. Well, I'm having fun too. Why this pop? Why doesn't this happen in real life? What is this nonsense? 
I haven't felt this turn on in a while. What about Win Kazuya? Do you really want to think about him right now? I toss my hips upwards slightly, causing Natsuki to topple over when her face mirrored inches from mine. Probably not. Good, because I don't want to either. Okay. Uh, I don't know, I shall read that. <laughs> Natsuki's kiss is growl more and more passionate than when it's good thing. My morning hands begin to explode. Oh. Ho 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 ho. Falling in the way between her. Okay. Funny. A lot of funny is happening here. It appears my mini. Okay. Time for the killing blow. I playfully rub the signal between her ties. Okay. All right. The music, the music in the background. Okay, 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 okay. What is this? What is I? I'm not like, I'm not liking this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The song, the song. Oh my god. We <laughs> care. I said, "Oh, nay, her tight body. I want off. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, <laughs> I can stop. It. Sorry, this is so funny." <laughs> yeah, man. You better take me upstairs and dock my brains out. Are you sure? Not in not entirely. So you better do it before I change my mind. Do you do you really want to risk it for a virgin? I can't guarantee you guarantee you I'll last any longer than two minutes. I'll take the risk. Damn, Nasuke is going in. Okay, then you you lose. You lose. Are they doing it? Oh. Oh. This is my final friend of all. Contest of victory, Nickel, the God Mars, and I have Super Saiyan 3 for here, you know. Could you help me with some kind of uh, genetic testing or something like that, you know? It would be a real freaking help. I'll leave it. Okay, so it didn't show. Okay, that was something. I'm pretty sure the uncensored version you actually will see everything, you know, you know what I mean? But this is a friendly 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 the friendly friendly channel. Not really. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know what I mean. But anyway <laughs> I think I'm going to end this video right here. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, and also uh, thank you for watching your goddamn time. Just see me starting reading sometimes. But that's normal because my English is not my first language, you know. But anyway, make sure to give a, a like button on this video. I don't know. Smash the like button. How do you those people always say smash the like button? Okay, I'm not going to be like those YouTubers. Never mind. Uh, give a I you know smash the like button. Uh, subscribe if you don't like my channel anymore. Unsubscribe. I don't care. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video and see you in, in the next one. Bye bye.